Yeah, I think this brings you full circle to that discussion about working with a vendor or supplier that uh, has some lean thinking already. Uh, so, you know, they're they're just pushing the milk through you so you can buy as much as you need. Uh, but uh, could they come up with some sort of signal or visual so that there was more intelligence about uh, how you're consuming the milk and how much you really needed uh, on a weekly basis? Yeah, and, and of course, then you have to train your vendor. And that's the other part of this is being able to link up. So, you know, I'd have to teach this vendor how to manage my house. And, and a lot of times what you find is, you know, I'm one small customer for a vendor who delivers to a lot of houses. So right. it's, un, it's unlikely that they're going to change their process based on me. You know, they're going to, they have their process in place and have a thousand customers who are all doing something a little bit differently for the amount of money that he's, that I'm spending. It's unlikely I have any influence over changing that. Right. But, but, your company, you know, you may have a vendor that you're 60 or 70 percent of their business. You know, sometimes you get, you know, smaller companies that have one or two really big clients, and with those vendors, there's a lot more, um, a lot more leverage in in getting them to become more lean, right? Yeah, I agree. And certainly, the size and education of the vendor is really important to uh, supplier management and supplier selection. Yeah, and, it's, and it comes back, I think you had talked about this earlier, is there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into cost. So just getting the cheapest milk is, is certainly not, you know, the best option. So getting milk delivered to your house is a little more expensive than going to the store to get it. But on the plus side is you never run out. You know, you always have it. You never have to make a, a late night trip to get milk for the kids or for the coffee. You know, I'm a big coffee drinker. If you were with our last uh, episode, it's on YouTube right now. Um, and you can get it through either one of our sites. You can find out how to, how to get to those links and watch our last presentation. But, you know, the, I'm a big coffee drinker, so I hate running out of milk because I do my lattes in the morning. And, you know, you never run out of it. So you're paying a little extra for that security. And there's a lot of times you'll pay a little extra up front, but you save a lot on the back end of it. If you have a supplier that can give you much better quality, much better consistency, and much more reliable um, supplier, you know, it doesn't take many times of having a stock out and having your line shut down to negate any cost savings you might have had. You know, for pennies on on the dollar, you might uh, that it might evaporate immediately. Well, we got this saying: you got uh, milk, then you got lean. So I think um, you know, I hope everybody was able to relate to these examples that we shared uh, today from uh, our lives at home. Uh, and uh, trying to relate those to various examples you might see in your office or in your manufacturing uh, facility. Um, and uh, yeah. hopefully you'll be able to use these uh, at your uh, convenience as well to share and then continue the learning uh, in your organization. Well, what, one of the things in this is I, Tim and I love getting feedback on anything that we do. Um, you know, we, we always talk about how to change this thing, change the format up, whether it's working or not working. So some of the ways that we use as indicators is questions, and we didn't get any questions. I actually fixed my process this time, and there's no questions on this one. So either, you know, we picked a topic that people really enjoyed, and we got we covered it really well, or it was just not that uh, controversial or that uh, thought provoking that people were asking questions. So you know, if you decide you want to give some feedback, let us know whether you thought it was a good topic, bad topic, and it helps us, you know, choose future topics. The plus side, though, is I do get to see how um, attentive the audience is. I have a little control panel. And for the most part, you know, whenever we change the slide, there's a pretty good pickup in how many people had it open. So that's a good indicator. So, um, and, and very few people have less, left since they got in here. So those are two things that I would say are good indicators, but it's always nice to hear from the people listening. Let us know what you thought of it, what you would do to improve it. Some ideas we have, one would be use a, a more frequent, shorter one, or, you know, break it into two topics and do a, a quicker one on the gut milk and then maybe teach uh, a quick Kanban class or, you know, just to tie it in. Or, um, you know, we, we have a bunch of different formats we can experiment with. This is continuous improvement at its finest. We like to, you know, change things around as much as we can. So what do you have to add, Tim? I, I, I talk too long sometimes. No, I think uh, just a couple notes. Uh, you know, I think uh, we will obviously have this up on YouTube. You can catch that on either one of our sites, which we'll give you the link to. Um, we do like to do the format, and so in order to lead into that, we'll give you uh, a future date of January 5th to do, again, uh, another um, type of presentation similar to the first two we've done on either coffee or milk. Uh, this time we'll showcase the 
automobile and try to learn some lean concepts from uh, something that we use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis uh, to travel um, either to work, home, or around with uh, the family. Okay, and again, like I said, um, oh, we did get one. Um, Tim McMahon from Maine said he liked the, uh, the, the presentation. It was excellent for a beginner. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking that's you, right, Tim? No, no, but, that's probably my uh, father. Oh, is it? Oh, oh. I um, didn't realize that. I thought you were just uh, kind of uh, doing a little behind-the-scenes playing no. with me. So, so, oh, your dad's online today. That's kind of interesting. You know, that's, that's, that's one thing that's just, uh, it's a little unusual that, you know, people who are involved in lean, when you say lean to a family member, you get a blank stare often. So that might be like another, uh, you know, a, a down the road thing for us to do is to, uh, you know, put together a, a primer so you can explain to your family what you do in a lean organization. You know, it's just, it's hard to, to picture that. And these are actually good examples when you, when you use the real world examples that can show that. We did have another comment about using a nice real-world example, and, and that, that's our point in this one. Is you know, as, as we go through it, we're probably going to have to change up the way we do these things after the car. There's not a whole lot more, you know, um, umbrella type of concepts like this. You know, you can, you can find other examples of lean. You know, your garage door opener or a checkbook are all good examples of you know the the, the kanban from your checkbook is the reorder card. But you know, you start losing those umbrellas. So we're going to have to start looking for new concepts. Uh, and how to, you know, get good information that people find valuable and entertaining, too, is, you know, it's just a bunch of your day. So uh, any ideas you have, let us know. Um, so, Tim, go ahead and talk a little bit about, you know, the, the follow-up information, how people can get a hold of you or... Um... Sure. I mean, I definitely want uh, you to try to check out some other information that we have available, and so you can catch that at leanjourney.com. And uh, you'll see uh, in the future uh, links, there's some other presentations on there and uh, content that you can use in your organization. Um, just definitely check that out today. Okay. Just got another uh, a question. Is Are we going to be sending out an invitation for the January 9th Lean Webinar? And we'll do it the same way. We'll promote it through, you know, Tim's blog or my blog or on my website. You know, we have a bunch of ways to get the information out. So if, if you're connected to us in any way, I'm sure you'll, you'll get that information. Um, and the invitation, you know, the link for the, the slide will be on it. What we are finding, though, is the, the, the more um, advanced warning we, we put out this, we start to get more and more people. And there's a little bit of a fallout, so we get about 70% of people who sign up actually show up. But, you know, in the two months we've done it, we've, we've gone up in, in the attendance both times. So that, uh, you know, as we send it out more in advance, you have to sign up early to make sure you get a seat. We're limited to 100 people on, on this system that we're using. But you will certainly be able to watch the, uh, the follow-up on the YouTube. Um, now, for just a little note, I'd like to give a little bit of information about what's going on in my company. I just put out a root cause analysis and five whys um, DVD. And I have a, I have, I've been developing a lean training system where I try to put a bunch of different modules together. And um, I have different topics. But within each topic, I have several components. And you can get a PowerPoint presentation or you can get... Uh, student guide, and now I'm starting to put DVDs out to go along with that, and exercises and Lean Lego kits. So this is this is being built up. Built up. If you're interested in that, you can check it out at velaction.com, and you can purchase the DVD or kind of look at what other stuff I have available. And I think here's the contact information. So yeah, if you got any questions uh, along the way, something pops up, you got ideas, uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, at any point uh, through this. Uh, information you have here. And just, well, just one thing I will talk about Tim's website just a little bit here. You know, he used to have a, uh, a longer URL for his address and he's changed it recently to aleanjourney.com. So it's actually a, a, his own URL now. So instead of going through something else, you know, you can get his information directly, a lean journey. It's nice and, uh, you know, it's, it's an easy thing to remember. I do recommend, you know, reading Tim's stuff. He's got a lot of uh, great information. He, he recently had, you know, just talking about visuals in the home, he recently had found a, uh, I think it was Intuit, that has yeah. a, a, a big, uh, a, an image about, a visual image about how to save money in the home. And he talked a lot about that and he put it up there and kind of, you know, explained how that's a, you know, that's lean thinking where you have that visual and that focus on cost savings. So I think with that. Yeah, this time of year in the Northeast, people want to save uh, energy, right? So uh, definitely yeah. want to check that out. 
Yeah, and, and I was I was figuring that by this time in the, in the conversation, Tim would have made at least one comment. I'm a big Bears fan, and you know he's he's in New England, so I have to take my lumps now because beforehand I was threatening to to talk a little smack to him if the if the Bears won, and that was before I realized that uh, you know, there's one team that's the uh, the class of the league right now, and it's not my team. So <laughs> well, I was taking the high road, but uh, you know, since you said uh, you know. It was not quite a quite a good showing for the Northeast there. Yeah, and I, like I said, I I would have given you your lumps if we won, so I figured I'd have to take mine, and uh, you know, it's just the right thing to do. But uh, but anyway, with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the conversation. I'm going to try to avoid the problem we had last time of me and Tim chatting in the background while the slide is going. So we go ahead and end the presentation now. Uh, we will send out a follow up. I've scheduled a follow up to go out, and uh, I'm going to try and get this posted to YouTube in the next couple of days. Sometimes it takes a little longer. You know, you have good intentions, but, you know, get overcome a little bit by, by the events at hand. So I'm going to try really hard to get it posted as quickly as possible, and we'll send you out a follow-up and um, some follow-up information so you can review it or send it to other people if you liked what we, what we said. So that, thanks again for attending. We appreciate it.